Well, hello guys, welcome to episode 86 of The Rock, I'm the Custard Prophet, and welcome back to the wonderful team of Hound Dogs. So, we have played a few games since you were last. we were last together, only a few, three games, we're still unbeaten, it's looking good, it's looking good. So, we drew away at Gibraltar Phoenix, which was the hardest game we had to play, um, we we should we should have won this. We went we were one nil down. They got players sent off, uh, HMS Beagle sent off, and then we scored two goals. Boris and PG Tips all looking good, and they scored a goal massively against the run of play. We had masses of chances and just couldn't finish it off. It was a real opportunity, and if we end up losing by, you know, I don't think we will do this. But if we end up losing the league by a point, that's going to haunt me. We then played uh, St Joseph's. We smashed them, Ruiz, Penfold with a couple, and then smashed Olympique by the same scoreline, uh, Williams, PG Tips, and Tony Timms with a goal. So Tony Timms is the um, uh, Williams uh, backup. So we are playing Europa FC today, and that is as good as it gets, really. Um, so this is the big test. Problem we have, Joey Hunt's at suspended, which isn't great. Hewitt can't play because... Uh, Hewitt and Penfold can't play because Europa FC are the parent club, which means we've had to re rehash the strike force. Penfold's been absolutely brilliant, so it's that's a real, real blow. Uh, I think the other thing here... Oh, Bobby Thomas is back, is he? We'll put him on the bench. Um, the other thing here is that... Um, yeah, because of those midfielders out, we've had to put Chad Bamba back in, uh, and we're playing Ruiz as a... Uh, a pressing forward. Um, the real star of everything at the minute is this David Williams, who I kind of thought he'd be okay, but he has scored loads of goals from this number 10 role. So let's see how he does today. Let's see how he does. I, I think this might be a really tough game with the players we've got missing, but we beat um, Red Imps away. Can we compete and do something against uh, against Europa FC? TJ but Debar as always is up top. Look at them, they've got proper people and everything. So we've just I've just watched a bit of the live stream from um, FM of the sort of first look of FM twenty. I think it looks a looks a pretty good game. The uh, the match engine, I don't know, it looks I have to say this looks better, but um I, I think it's hard to hard to make judgments on that they did mention that goalkeepers have been improved which is which is good and they've make making a load of changes to the match engine so we're all very excited about that um a lot of chatter in the um oh here is a chance what's going on a lot of chatter in the in the comments about all sorts of things and uh it was good it was it was a lot of fun and uh, i didn't watch the whole thing oh off the post again i think we did that last time and ended up losing four nil but nicely done guys good start good start TJ, no you don't, yeah, look at him, who's that, Mills, in the way, Bob Mills, in the way, oh dear me, completely missed that was, so we're playing Mills and Neil, Thomas has been playing in there mainly, but he had a little bit of a knock, so Neil's had a couple of games, PG Tips has come in, he's played really well actually, I've been Please, when he scored a free kick, which is why he's staying in there. He's ahead of Crisp at the minute, which is quite something. Crisp is down there in third place in terms of right backs. Um, so, Gregory. It's over the top from Gregory. Gregory. Which is how you say his name, I believe. We've, we're, we're getting shots, which is quite nice. We're playing quite well. Let's. Uh, let's what should we demand more? What was that? Oh, I didn't know what was going on there. Make sure you get to this young Neil. Oh dear, that was poor. Generally, and this is what they do so effectively against us. But it's Gregory. What is that? Oh, what a save. Gregory just throws himself to the floor, but Chamberlain makes an absolute stonker of a save. It's a corner. 
problem there we're having is that their chances are looking good. Our chances are not looking quite as good. But they've got a match on their hands, which is more than they normally do against us. Front two, not happy with completely, but... Come on, guys. You're playing well. Oh, they're overwhelmed by that. It's a bad choice. Williams on the corner. Damn it, we know what's coming here. Okawonko. Come on, screw up Okawonko. You don't all need to be up there. Oh, that's awful. Come on. Yeah, that's awful. Absolutely dreadful defending. Absolutely dreadful defending. Just gifted them it. Bloody TJ DeBar and his... Oh, and his goal scoring abilities. We're down to second place now. That's embarrassing. Kickoff highlight though. Uh, demand more. I'm disappointed to, to say the least. Though. And I don't mind conceding a goal. But it's these sort of crappy goals we're conceding. Which I really... Oh, who was that? Williams over the top. 11 shots. I mean, we've, we've dominated the chances. But just not quite getting it come on let's get a goal back come on wonder whether we have to change something here maybe Reynolds on oh, we are creating chances which I don't mind at all obviously not but it would be nice to do a little bit more with those chances I think having Penfold in the team would have been fantastic. Having a little bit more uh, in the centre of midfield would be nice because we've got nobody um, that we can turn to. If someone gets an injury, we're going to have to completely change the tactic. Well, it's nicely done from Chad Bander, and that's what he's kind of in the team for. Williams, beautiful. Ruiz, I thought I was about to, I was about to insult the man. <laughs> yes, I was, but what a, what a beautiful bit of play. Chad Bander into Scott. Scott's done amazingly. He's, he could have dropped out the team. But Williams plays that lovely ball. And Ruiz, first time. I don't think the goalkeeper even knew what was happening there. He just flams it in. Absolutely fantastic from the. Um, I don't know what he is. The man. The man with a plan. As I say, we can't do much in midfield at the minute, but we can make a change up top. And I'm thinking we bring on Reynolds, see what he can do. So we know you know he's a young wait, we know he's a young striker. It's oh PG tips. That's another mistake. And they're all, they're at us. Oh, yeah, that I mean, again, absolutely giving it away. With just two goals that we've completely given away there. Bad mistake from PG Tips. And we just didn't pounce on it. They That should not be a chance for them. Should not be a chance. Come on. We're playing well. Right, we're going to have to do something here. I don't know, we've got nothing really to, to do. Can Tony Timms play? He can sort of play in there as an advanced playmaker. I wonder whether we... Do we bring him on? Do we, do we bring on... Yeah, I'll bring him on as a... Advanced playmaker on attack and just see whether that makes any difference. After him scoring in the last game. Scott's done well, but let's... See what we can do. Another mistake, which is brilliant. It's a lot of mistakes. Three mistakes, three goals, and that's that's kind of we've just kind of given it them in some ways, which is a bit disappointing. Seventy-seven minutes. It's not all over yet. If we can pull one back here, PG tips. Nicely into Banda, Banda into Tims. Just gets out his feet. PG tips. Yeah, again. Oh, what is that? Is it going to be another mistake? Yeah. yeah, I mean, it has. Every single goal has come from a, a us losing possession and then just running back up the pitch and scoring, which is really disappointing. 
because we haven't played badly at all. 17 shots and we're 4-1 down. They've had 12 shots. I don't know what to do, really. Disappointing. PG Tips has not had a good day. Not a good day at the office for him. Well, it's probably not a bad result for us, really. Um, we probably needed a bit of a reality check. But you look at the match stats, and again, it's certainly not smashing. You know, they might have scored four goals, but we have not been destroyed, and that's important. <laughs> if if that comes from another one of their... Oh, dear. That's it. That's it. Okay, okay. Well, 4-1, it's a loss. It's disappointing. We can certainly say that. But we're not going to be overly uh, critical with the lads. We've, we're third in the league currently on the same points as everyone else. No one's played any more games. We've got Lincoln Redhams next up. It's our first loss of the whole season. So that puts everything into context. First loss of the season. We're playing Lincoln Red Imps. I think what we might do is come back for the, on for the Friday game. Uh, we'll be against Mons Calpe, I think. And that sort of sets up. That's about halfway through the season. And then we'll play four more games to the end of the season. Yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, hit the like button. Uh, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe and get ready for the FM20 content that will be coming out on this channel. Everton, the beta save, and then a Scandinavian journeyman thereafter. So get your, get your subs on for those bad boys. Uh, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>